Hello everyone and welcome to another VAS Aviation video today. Um, actually, you remember the video I recorded yesterday that was about the Q&A announcement and we were about 300 subscribers to reach 20,000 people. And I'm recording this video the very next day. Uh, this time is 9.39 Zulu time. It's not a lie. It's true. And we're just... Uh, there you can see it. 27 subscribers to reach 20,000 people. So I'm recording this video right now. So at the moment that we reach 20,000 people, this video is up. So I'm gonna start reading all your comments all the way down through your comments and I'm gonna answer it. I'm not gonna answer questions that I have answered before. So in case we find a question here at the very beginning and later on we find the same question, I'm not gonna answer uh, because I have answered the question before. So let's start and we'll start with YouTuber that says, how do you find those rare ATC convos? How much time between making the animation and publishing the video? Thank you very much for your question, YouTuber. Uh, right now, at uh, this moment that we are 20,000 people in the channel, there are two ways that I reach uh, communications. And one is leaveatc.net, as you many guys know. And another one is you guys reach me and send me your uh, communications that you have or find to my Gmail, to my email, that is VASAviation1 at gmail.com. And how much time between making the animation and publishing the video? Well, it depends. It depends on how important the video or the event is. For example, if there is a crash or a very significant um, event that happened, I give it full priority on editing spending as many hours as I can and have the video published on YouTube as soon as possible. Next is FAS Fun and Sim, I like the name. I spend hours watching your videos and I do say you're doing a great job. Why and how do you start VAS Aviation? Are you a controller, a pilot or an enthusiast? And how could you find ATC communications at the very beginning? Do you have future plans for the channel? Well, thank you very much for your questions and your words, thank you. Well, this aviation channel was just my private YouTube channel when I, I mean, years ago. And I was just going to my home airport and recording airplanes uh, landing or taking off and, you know, um, standard, uh, you know, videography of airplanes. So I think it all started with the Astiana crash in San Francisco. I was, and this is true, I was the very first person and channel on YouTube to upload the Astiana crash. And the, the next day I watched the video and it had many and thousands and thousands of views. So I thought, well, um, people like to, uh, to watch this and why not? And I gave it a try and started everything. And do you have future plans for the channel? Yes, I have. I'm not gonna say what, but you will be able to see it very soon. So thank you very much for your question and comment financing. Next is Ben. Can we subscribers help you transcript ATC's transmission? Hello Ben, thank you for your question. And yes, you can. Uh, you have my email down on the description. Um, that is VASAviation1 at gmail.com. And you can reach me over there and I will tell you all the information uh, that you need and everything. It's pretty simple to help me and it's not much time either or something that is uh, really simple. Thank you very much Ben for your question. Next is Harambe and he asked me about how big is your bum hole? Well, I have never seen it but probably not bigger than yours. Next is Max Martin and he says hi what is the most rare audio recording that you have ever got? And congrats on 20,000 subscribers. Thank you very much, Max Martin. Um, I think it's probably the bathtub man uh, talking to the ATC. If you guys haven't watched this video, it will be over here. Um, it's a man that calls the air traffic controller and he says he's having a bath. Uh, yeah, pretty strange. 
Thank you very much, Max, for your question. Next is Nadabul Sir, and he says, Hello, congratulations on 20,000 subscribers, or almost 20,000. We're, we're actually 20,000 right now. My question, do you have a job or any education? Also, how do you find time to do all these videos? Congrats again. Thank you very much, Nadabul Sir. Uh, if you mean in aviation, I don't have any uh, job or any education in aviation, but of course I have my personal education and my personal job right now. Next is K. Hewitt. Who would make a better pilot? Stevie Wonder, Pingu, or Paul Gascoigne, and why? Well, <laughs> this is funny. Actually, I would say Stevie Wonder, because I'm a fan of Stevie Wonder. I've always been a fan of Stevie Wonder. Uh, Pink would be a fun pilot, but not as serious as Stevie Wonder was. Um, so, yeah, I would say Stevie Wonder. And why? Because if I were in a plane and um, McGaffney would say, Hello, Stevie Wonder, Captain speaking, I would be like, Okay, Stevie Wonder is the captain, we're, we're safe, we're safe. Next is Nathan Baldwin. Which country do you live in? Spain. Next is from Ricardo Salazar. Can you say something in Spanish? Greetings from Mexico. Of course I can. Hola Ricardo. Muchas gracias por tu comentario y por tu pregunta. Te mando desde España un saludo enorme y un abrazo. Que cruce todo el charco hacia México. Un abrazo. Next is from Flying High Aviation. What's your favorite airplane and airline? Also, which program do you use for editing videos? Thank you very much for your questions. And what's my favorite airplane and airline? Well, I hate responding about favorite something because I have actually not favorite anything. Uh, my favorite airplane, if I had to say uh, one airplane, I would probably say Boeing 777. I love that that airplane, and I love the uh, you know the structure. I love the cockpit, and uh, I really like that airplane. And my favorite airline. Um, I would probably say Delta. Delta, from United States, probably Delta or American Airlines. But worldwide, I will probably see or Delta or a uh, Spanish airline, that is Air Europa, uh, that I also like a lot. Uh, so probably Delta or Europa from uh, Spain. Which program do you use for editing videos? I use, well, I, I use many because I use for the video itself editing, I use Sony Vegas Pro 12 and that's the uh, program that I use for editing video. And also for editing the images and diagrams and everything, I also use the Adobe Effects, Adobe, yeah, Adobe Effects and Photoshop. And so I use, I actually use those three programs to use uh, to edit a whole video itself. So thanks for your questions. Next question is from Ava Subia. And she says, Boeing or Airbus? Boeing or Airbus? I would probably say Next is from Mauro Restrepo. Greetings from Medellin, Colombia. When you will continue with the section How Does It Work? I hope that put one of South America that would be great. Thank you very much, Mauro, for your uh, comment. Un saludo desde España y un abrazo enorme hasta Colombia. Muchísimas gracias por ser seguidor, por tu comentario y por tu pregunta. Now, when you will continue with the section How Does It Work? Well, that's, that's a very good question. Actually, the section How Does It Work and how does it work for those who don't know? Uh, was a kind of a series that I created to hear ATCs from uh, parts of the world and different parts of the world other than the United States. It consisted on about 10 minute real time audio from uh, an airport. Uh, for example, it all started with Dubai, I think, and it all uh, was um, 10 minute real time with real maps and diagrams and see how the ATC and the airport worked. Now, I stopped doing those videos because it was not receiving the uh, support and likes and comments and views 
that I expected. Also, it was so uh, it needed so much time from me and so many hours of work, and uh, I thought it was not worth to uh, for me to to continue uh, working on those videos. Now that we are so many people, we are now 20,000 people in the channel. Maybe I recover and maybe I restart doing those videos and see if you guys, all those new people that came, uh, would like to to watch those videos. Probably. I will give it a shot, another video, maybe from South America or any other part in the world, and yeah, see if you guys like. I will be pleased if you guys support them, and uh, you know, if I um, see that you guys like them, and it is worth to do it. So thank you very much, muchísimas gracias Mauro for your comment. So that's it, thank you very much guys, 20,000 subscribers right now on the channel, that's awesome, and I'm so excited and amazed about that. So let's keep growing, let's keep learning, and let's keep sharing our knowledge and our experiences. Thank you very much, guys, and see you, I hope, really soon.